Welcome to another exciting edition of American Warrior Radio, the place to be for news, notes, interviews, and current events for all issues military and veteran related. If you or someone you know has ever worn the uniform of the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, or National Guard or Reserves, you've come to the right place, American Warrior Radio, right here on the Talk To Me station, AM 1060, WMEL, and online worldwide at 1060WMEL.com, sponsored by AVET Project. Folks, this program is all about supporting our troops and their families, both past and present. So please get comfortable, grab a nice beverage, and don't forget a pen and paper, because we're always efforting to bring you important information that you can use and share with others. With that said, let's roll down the runway and get this show off the ground. You all know me. I'm Garen Cohn. I'm an Air Force veteran, retired legal advocate for veterans, and founder of AVET Project. But all you regular listeners to American Warrior Radio also know that I never fly through the airwaves alone. Good morning. I'm Glenn McGuffey. I'm retired Air Force, and I'm the retired manager of the Brevard County Veteran Services Team, where it was my honor to help our veterans and eligible family members gain the benefits earned through service to our great nation. And I did that for 22 plus years, and I've continued volunteering since then, so it's been about over 24 years that it's been my honor to help our veterans. And uh, I guess as time goes by, it'll be 25 one day. <laughs> Just clicking away, aren't they? <laughs> you bet. So uh, we've got a great guest today and uh, some uh, some important announcements. So I'll flip it back over to Garen. Well, before we do that, Glenn, now you mentioned that you represent vets and you help out through AVET Project's service officer program, as well as the American Legion Post. How can people get in touch with you if they have an issue they need help with regarding the VA? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I prefer that you give me an email. and So I'm going to give you my email address, and that's Glenn, G-L-E-N-N-N, at AVET Project. That's all one word. A-V-E-T-P-R-O-J-E-C-T dot org. So again, that's Glenn at AVET Project dot org. And give me a brief of why you need help if you can. Uh, if not, don't worry, we'll get to it. I'll, I'll get back with you. We'll set up an appointment at American Legion Post 200. Thank you very much for the space no to help kidding. our veterans. And uh, we'll go from there. Outstanding. Sometimes and I can help you on the phone. Let me throw that back in. Exactly. But if not, you just contact him via email, Glenn, with two N's, at avetproject.org. Folks, I also want you to know there's a ton of information regarding VA benefits and basically anything and everything to do with VA. As Glenn and I always say, if you want to know anything about the VA, you can just go to va.gov.gov. It's an ocean of information, and that is therein lies the problem. you got to find that information. We try and decipher it and keep it streamlined, so you can go to avetproject.org avetproject.org. We've got a number of social media pages that have great information, as well as American Warrior Radio's Facebook page. So avail yourselves of that and share the information. We're heard throughout the Space Coast. Our signal is now 50,000 watts, so we're reaching we, we, an increase of tenfold of our, our audience now. And we appreciate that, but we also have listeners from Afghanistan to Oregon. So if you're listening online, share the information and if there's anything we can do for you, you can get in contact with Glenn. You can hit the contact button on avetproject.org and so many other ways. But just keep listening because you made the right decision right now listening to American Warrior Radio. Glenn, we do have an awesome show. We've got a great in-studio guest. Before we get there, I just want to give you a little primer of what we're going to talk about in a little bit. And that is the dedication for the new Cape Canaveral National Cemetery. I attended that the other day and uh, Secretary McDonald was there and we'll share a little bit about that as the show progresses. And of course, don't miss the second segment because Joanne Ivins, AVET Project's Director of Counseling, is gonna be here with her Journey of the Spirit. And that's always an interesting segment. And I know you're gonna get something out of that. But rolling all back, I, I know all you regular listeners are aware that AVET Project recently held our Firearms Fun Night and Shooting Competition here in Melbourne at this incredible new place called Frog Bones Family Shooting Center. We have none other than the general manager of Frog Bones with us here in studio today, Doug Torpy. Welcome, Doug. 
Hey, thanks for having me. Well, really appreciate you popping in here, especially on, I'm presuming this is your regular day off. This is my regular day off. <laughs> you do get a day off. The boss man takes a day off. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> well, Doug, we had such an incredible time at Frog Bones, and the entire event was a huge success, and it wouldn't have happened without you. So tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, where you were born and raised. I was born in Orlando, raised here in Melbourne, Florida for most of my life. Uh, traveled around, had a lot of experiences in other places, but I've been here all along. Went to high school here, went to college here, um, attended BCC and UCF, and uh, kind of worked in the firearms and sporting goods industry. And that's what, I was, that's what I was going to ask. What piqued your interest about firearms? When did you get involved in firearms? My dad was in law enforcement when I was young, and uh, he, he enjoyed firearms, took me shooting. Uh, you know, I'm one of those kids that started shooting when I was like five years old. Um, you know, those crazy stories. Why give a gun to a kid that's five? But uh, I turned out okay, I think. <laughs> you and me both. You're still here. Right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. We need more of that, in my opinion. But yep. So yep. you've always been involved in the shooting sports. And so kind of a natural progression you got out of college. Were you looking to get into the firearms industry? I, I did. I, I loved it. Um, I actually started in the... I started in knives and selling cutlery, and then I got into the archery side of the lines, um, then got me into more of the hunting sports, and then I started doing the firearms, and then just really, really excelled at that. Well, and, and you're good at it, obviously, because you were selected by the owner of Frog Bones, Ed, to be his GM and run the entire operation. Uh, tell us a little bit about Frog Bones. When did you guys get underway? Um, you know, it started about two years ago, the idea of it, and... Um, Construction started uh, middle of last year. We finally opened April 22nd, 2015. Um, we've got a uh, we've got a fairly large restaurant. We seat about 50 people in there. Uh, we've got 18 shooting positions. We've got six at 25 yards, 12 at 15 yards. Um, we are rifle capable in all lanes. We typically have rifles in the six lane range. We've got a very large sales floor. We've got one of the largest gun collections in the county. Um, we've got a training room. We run classes three days a week. It's uh, it's going great. It really is. And you mentioned uh, you just got started in April, so really just about six months ago. And this is a newly constructed building. You didn't renovate something. This is a brand new place? No, this is actually a renovation. Uh, M.H. Williams renovated the building for us. Uh, we had a uh, designer out of Georgia that has built several other ranges, and then we had Action Target actually build the trap for us. Actually, we built the trap. They designed it and sent a lead guy, and you know we hauled the steel and hung it and you know bolted it down. It was a, it was a, it was a lot of fun, but it was a uh, tough work there. You got your hands dirty from the ground up, huh? Oh yeah. Well, you mentioned that uh, Ed who's the owner of Frog Bones, wanted to create this shooting experience, this family shooting center. And I was talking to him during the family shootout uh, with AVET Project, and he mentioned that he'd gone around the country, been to a lot of different ranges, and there, apparently there's a, a, a ranking number, like a four-star or a five-star range. Explain a little bit of that. Yeah, NSSF, National Shooting Sports Foundation, um, has a, a ranking system. Um, up to five stars and there's a there's a, a packet that they'll give you and you can get scored up to five stars by having things like plumbing and food and uh, um, you know just having a, a clean atmosphere having guys in uniforms with name tags having ammo on site you know it's it's all the simple things and it's you know not everybody has all those things you know some places have food like donuts and coffee on the <laughs> table you know we have a 50 seat restaurant so yeah, I thought that was uh, fairly unique, at least in my experience. I don't know if it is nationwide, but uh, I wondered if you could tell us uh, any military history in your family. Uh, I have a, a grandfather that served in the Air Force, and I have a brother that's currently serving in the Air Force. He's in flight training now. Go blue! Flying the, the T-38, getting ready to find out what platform he's moving into next month. What, what uh, base is he at doing the basic flight training? He's in Del Rio, Texas. I yeah, know. Del Rio, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you got some family tradition in the military, and you mentioned uh, while we were off air just before we came on that uh, your grandfather was an NCO, and your brother's obviously a commissioned officer now. So uh, what happened? Tell, tell us the experience with we, your grandfather uh, and my, him. My grandfather, uh, <laughs> my, my brother bought his first salute from my grandfather. It was kind of a cool ceremony, and... Uh, you know, I didn't know anything about it, um, but it was, a, it was a fun thing to watch. And it was cool that, you know, 
he got to do it with my grandfather. No yeah, that, for you folks that aren't familiar with that, people getting commissioned, uh, the first salute, you give them a silver dollar for uh, giving you your first salute. And then way back when, when I was commissioned, uh, you you gave a dollar to anybody that saluted you, so I went broke and I got commissioned. <laughs> Emptied out your pockets quick on that first yeah. day, huh? Well, that's, that's interesting because, again, that gives... Uh, an appreciation that you have of the military and the challenges that our warriors face. And you got to meet about 25 of them that we brought out to the, the firearms fun night. And I got to tell you, it was such a phenomenal time. You explained kind of the, the physical aspect of frog bones because it is, you got this awesome pro shop, practically every firearm anybody could want. And you mentioned earlier that you were involved in archery as, as a younger person. You have that in there. You have that component as well. We do. We sell Matthews, Bowtech, um, some of the other lines um, we uh, we service bows we build bow strings um, we can do just about anything with a bow at frog bones and I want to mention that I've gone to numerous ranges throughout the country and it's oftentimes this crusty old guy that wants to sell you ammo as well as range time and it's like if you don't buy ammo you feel guilty that you didn't support him because he thinks you know well how do you think I make my money I walk into Frog Bones the first time, such an entirely different atmosphere. Like you mentioned, everybody's professional. Their uniform dress code, you actually know who you're talking to, that they're with the, the Frog Bones Shooting Center. And the facility itself goes without... I, I haven't seen anything even close to paralleling this. You mentioned the restaurant, the Double Tap Grill. Uh, Jake, AVET Project, we had this, again, family shootout. It was an, an, a well-rounded experience because we had Caltech obviously come and stage the actual competition for us, provided the range officers. Uh, Frog Bones, you guys were phenomenal. You also provided a, a snack, Jake, in the kitchen there. Uh, so if somebody doesn't necessarily want to go shooting or maybe they're not sure, they haven't been to a shooting range like this, they could pop in for lunch and then kind of just walk around and experience it, right? Absolutely. We get people all the time. They come in that eat and uh, just walk through the store and take a look at the range. Uh, we've got some great big bay windows. They're inch and a quarter bullet rated glass that you can take a look into the range and uh, from oh, a safe cool. setting and not have to, uh, you know, slowly, slowly get immersed into the firearms world. Um, and like I said, we have instructors on site. We do provide a uh, $20, 15 minute intro just to get you on the range, get you familiar with the range, get you familiar with a firearm. So a total novice could walk into Frog Bones and you'd take care of them? We'd take them on the range and before we let them go, we'd make sure that they are competent to be let go. If not, we'd ask them if they you know, would like to take a class and uh, we could book them for a class down the road. And uh, Jaron was mentioning the experience about wanting to but sell you ammunition when you walk in the door uh, made me think uh, maybe you could share with the folks out there how much does it cost to shoot at the range sure we actually have a it's a we have a pretty simple setup uh, we have a time we have a it's the same price whether you bring your own ammo or you buy mine the difference is if you bring your own ammo it's by the hour if you buy my ammo which I try to price very well uh, nine millimeters starting at about fourteen ninety nine a box um, the range time is unlimited. You can stay as long as you want, as long as you're buying our ammunition. The other thing we did... That's unique in the industry, isn't it? That whole program. I haven't heard of that yeah, before. Yeah, that's, it's fairly unique. I don't, I don't know of anyone else that's doing it. They may, but it, I think it's a great idea. Um, it's kind of a, a, a less confrontational way to promote buying your ammunition. The other thing I do is I make it cheaper and cheaper the more people you bring. One shooter is $15.00. Two shooters sharing a lane is twenty dollars. Three shooters sharing a lane is twenty dollars. Four shooters sharing a lane is twenty dollars. Cool. So at four <laughs> shooters, you're paying five bucks each. Exactly. You come in, you buy our ammo. Four shooters can stay for two hours if they want. If you walk out and you come back in, we're not going to charge you again either. Um, so that's that's for the whole day. Um, then we also do some memberships. We do a membership. For, Talk about that for a minute. For three ninety nine, and that's unlimited shooting. For one year, we're uh, only really closing on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. Um, it includes a 10% off range ammo, which is already inexpensive. Um, it also includes some periodic discounts on firearms. 
Um, some firearms are discounted up to $100 that were already at a very good price. We just have lots of them and we can move them to members at that price. We're also starting some discounts in Double Tap Grill with the purchase of an annual membership. Nice. You're really winding it all together there. I like that. Yeah, uh, I, I saw the... Excuse me, Garen. No, go ahead, Glenn. I, I saw... Uh, well, I heard you say you had X amount of lanes uh, at a certain number of feet or yards, was it? Yeah, we have uh, six lanes at 25 yards and 12 lanes at 15 yards. But you do have the... the adjustable target yes, so, yes. all Targets automatic all on digital yeah. control and they move out at half yard increments okay cool <laughs> it, it is it's top of the line people and i wanted to just throw this in there because some time ago avet project got involved as we do we stay involved in helping particularly disabled and catastrophically disabled vets obtain housing around here and you went ahead and you and ed hired justin burdett and he doesn't mind me mentioning his name because he's a vet uh, everybody knows because we helped put his house together down in Palm Bay. He's working for you now. Well, that's a funny story. So I've actually known him since before he was injured. Is that right? So back when I managed another store, he uh, he would come in periodically, buy some firearms, trade it in a really nice rifle that my cousin actually owns now. Oh, jeez. He, he, he bought it from a friend after coming back from his first tour. And, uh, you know, then I he came in after he was injured and uh, it was you know, kind of a sad thing to see because I'd known him before that and then uh, ran into him at a uh, fishing tournament that we sponsored that FIT was holding to uh, promote or get some money for the football team. And I went over and talked to him and wanted to see if he was interested in coming in, spending a couple hours a week at Frog Bones just to have something to do, get out of the house and have some fun. And it's, uh, it's funny you say that about him. He was working the range counter uh, Thursday and uh, a Someone I assume from a military background came up to him and uh, handed him a hundred bucks and just said, "Could you give this to a military charity when you uh, when you get a chance?" And actually, I brought that with me today for you. Oh wow! Everybody, you can check out American Warrior Radio on our Facebook page and social media and YouTube. Check it out. So this was given to Justin by a customer to give to a military charity, and he's donating it to AVET Project. That's exactly right. That's pretty cool, brother. Thank you so much for that. That means a lot to us. Because everybody knows AVET Project, we're all unpaid volunteers. Uh, Our partner in crime here has been Caltech for a long time. They've been supportive of us. And you have a partnership with them that preceded our involvement with Frog Bones as well. You have weapons that people can come in and rent for free and go out on the range? Explain that. Yeah, they did something really cool for us. Um, we brought in a, a demo fleet, or they, they gave us a demo fleet of some of their very popular, uh, hard to find weapons, and we've got them on the range. You can take them at any time, rent free. Uh, we do ask that you buy our ammo when you're shooting one of their weapons, so we make sure they keep running strong. Um, but at no cost to you, range time, ammo, use the gun, whatever you want. Pretty slick. Again, everybody, we're talking with Doug Torpy from your Frog Bones Family Shooting Center. What's the address for Frog Bones, Doug, real quick? It's uh, 404 South Harbor City Boulevard, Melbourne, Florida, 32901. It's right between the two big causeways in Melbourne. That's a good way to describe it, between the two big causeways. It's a, can, what's it close to that people might know? Uh, it's between uh, the Rosner Chevrolet, the old the old Chevrolet dealership that was the Rathman, Rathman Chevrolet yeah. and the Toyota dealership. Exactly. Oh, well, Just, that's easy enough to pinpoint. Look, you're going to find it's a beautiful building with a massive American flag and this digital marquee out front. You can't miss it. And it just, it's, it's like a, a, it's so well done. Honestly, I just can't tell you how well done it is. Uh, but Caltech has been a big supporter of ours. They came and helped set up this range. It was a two-stage range. We're going to do something like this again, I'm sure, yeah? Oh, I hope so. It, it was fun, and all the employees had fun. It was a lot of fun. Everybody <laughs> had fun with that one. Outstanding. Well, Doug, I want to thank you so much, not just for being here today, but for everything you're doing to help us help them, meaning our military and veteran community. And uh, we'll be talking to you again down the road. Anything comes up in the meantime, specials or something you want to get out there, holler at us, and American Warrior Radio is going to be happy to get it out there. One last thing, what about a website if people want to find out anything more about you? Uh, Frogbonesfamilyshootingcenter.com or frogbones.com. Frogbones.com. Glenn, you got anything else for Doug? Uh, Well, I just wondered, uh, can people shoot shotguns there? 
<laughs> they can shoot shotguns, they can shoot pistols, they can shoot rifles up to a 308 category. Right. Which, so 308, 30-06, 270, any of those high-power rifles. Yeah, that's wonderful. Check it out. That's Frog Bones here in Melbourne, Frog Bones Family Shooting Center. Again, Doug Torpy's been our guest. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And tell Justin, thank you for passing on the 100 bucks here. This is incredible. We love it. I sure will. It keeps the wheels moving. Absolutely. Glenn, it's great to have guests like this come in here because you can tell that they have a passion not only just to serve the military veteran community, but the greater community as a whole. Oh, absolutely. And I, I'm... I'm much more informed about the shooting range and the restaurant, which I find unique. Uh, and I, I'm going to be visiting you soon, and I hope all our listeners out there are going to be visiting you soon. It's a unique experience. When you go once, I guarantee you you're going to go back. And if you go into the Double Tap Grill and have any of the food, you know you're going to come back, and you're going to tell everybody else about it. The segments just fly by here on American Warrior Radio, but I've got to tell you that we did go out to the dedication and Secretary of the VA, Bob McDonald, and that's what he refers to himself Bob. as. Bob. Bob. <laughs> uh, Bob was there. There's great videos up there online if you want to check him out on AVET Project social media platforms. The dedication was, i got to tell you, pretty well attended. And this is the ninth National Cemetery here in Florida. It's, it's a big endeavor. It's like 318 acres. And I don't know, they're expecting to serve how many people with this cemetery, Glenn, as it opens? Uh, more than 163,000 veterans. And, of course, uh, plug that uh, you can also, your spouse can be buried at a national cemetery, even if she predeceases you. And I just want to share, when it is completed, the columbarium, in other words, they're going to be receiving remains here, hopefully in January. Okay. And that's according to the new director, the newly appointed director out there. And that's good news because AVET Project was out there. We had our information table set up, as we often do at these type of events. Many people would walk up, I'll be honest, a lot of widows, more widows probably than widowers, but holding their remains back because Bushnell is just too far to drive. And they knew that Cape Canaveral National Cemetery uh, was coming along and they wanted to make sure that they had their their loved ones placed there. Yeah, in fact, I've got a couple of friends that are doing that. They, both of them have elected cremation for their spouses, and they were holding the cremains until this cemetery opens up. And uniquely, one of them is in the cemetery business. Well, I gotta tell you, it's gonna be beautiful when it's all done. I, I will tell you that there is information available online and you can also go to avetproject.org, click on the Facebook icon, even if you're not a member, and you can scan some of the incredible photos we took. We had a monster sized flag line out there, just a, a wonderful ceremony. And it is gonna be a real blessing to this area and obviously the military and veteran community. I wanna thank Patrick Air Force Base Honor Guard for coming out and doing their duty there too. Magnificent men and women. Uh, we're coming to a close here on the first segment of American Warrior Radio, everybody, but I don't want you to go anywhere. All right, you can get up and go freshen your beverage, maybe sharpen your pencil, because we're coming right back with Joanne Ivan's Journey of the Spirit here on American Warrior Radio on AM 1060 WMEL. Be right back in just a moment. 